October 26, 2024, Israeli F-35s vanish from radar screens and penetrate 1,700 kilometers deep into Iranian territory. They take out 20 military targets, including Russian S-300 defense systems. Zero losses, zero detection. When they land back home, American generals are waiting for the data, because what happened that night changed everything the Pentagon thought it knew about stealth fighters. Israel just handed the U.S. Air Force the combat manual they've been trying to write for 15 years. And the lessons? They're rewriting how America plans to fight its next war. Here's what makes this shocking. While American F-35 sit grounded with a 51% readiness rate, Israel keeps 90% of their jets mission ready during active combat. They're flying the same aircraft, same design, same manufacturer, but Israel discovered something the Pentagon missed. And now, every lesson learned over Iranian airspace is feeding directly back to American squadrons preparing for the Pacific. The Israeli Air Force didn't just use the F-35. They rewrote its playbook in the most hostile skies on Earth. And the American military is taking notes like never before. Let's start with the most critical breakthrough that has Air Force commanders rethinking everything. When Lockheed Martin designed the F-35, they calculated range based on peacetime assumptions. Aerial refueling would always be available. Tanker aircraft could safely operate. But Israel looked at their geography and saw a different reality. Iran sits 1,500 kilometers away. Their tanker fleet? Just seven aging Boeing refueling aircraft. Not nearly enough for a sustained strike campaign. So Israeli engineers did something unprecedented. They modified their F-35s with conformal fuel tanks that hugged the aircraft's body. They added external drop tanks that could be jettisoned after use. The result? Israeli F-35Is flew over 1,700 kilometers to strike targets in Iran and Yemen without a single mid-air refueling stop. The American response? Immediate interest. Because the U.S. faces the exact same challenge in the Pacific. China sits across vast ocean distances. In a conflict scenario, American tanker aircraft become prime targets. They're large, slow, and visible on radar. Losing your tankers means losing your air superiority. Pentagon officials now openly acknowledge that Israel's extended range modifications are exactly what American F-35s need for Indo-Pacific operations. The Israeli solution saves the U.S. potentially a decade of research and billions in development costs. Combat testing completed. Results verified ready to integrate. But range means nothing if your aircraft can't survive to reach the target. That's where the second major lesson comes in. Israel took their F-35s into the most heavily defended airspace on the planet. Russian S-300 and S-400 systems, Iranian air defense networks, advanced radar coverage. The jets that emerged proved something American strategists desperately needed to know about stealth technology. And what they discovered will determine how the U.S. Air Force approaches every future conflict. The S-300 system represents some of the most sophisticated air defense technology Russia exports. Long-range radars, high-speed missiles, multiple targeting capabilities. Iran had positioned these systems to protect their most valuable military sites. On paper, they should have detected incoming F-35s. They didn't. Israeli F-35Is penetrated Iranian airspace and systematically destroyed multiple S-300 radar installations. Satellite imagery later confirmed complete destruction of engagement radars. How? Israel had replaced the standard electronic warfare suite with their own Elbit Systems technology, customized specifically to counter Russian and Iranian defense systems. This represents a monumental validation for American stealth technology, but also a wake-up call. The standard F-35 electronic warfare package works, but Israeli modifications work better against specific threats. The Pentagon is now studying exactly how Israel configured their systems, what frequencies they targeted, what jamming techniques proved most effective. For American forces preparing for potential Pacific operations, this data is pure gold. China operates similar Russian defense systems. They've studied the same threat assessments. Understanding exactly how Israeli modifications defeated these systems gives U.S. engineers a proven blueprint for their own electronic warfare upgrades. The combat validation goes even deeper. Israeli F-35s conducted strikes in broad daylight, not under cover of darkness. Daylight operations over defended territory, zero combat losses, zero aircraft damaged by enemy fire. This level of success wasn't theoretical anymore. 
It was documented, recorded, analyzed. If you're impressed by how these jets performed in combat, type yes in the comments below. Let us know if you think American F-35s should get these same modifications. But having capable aircraft means nothing if they can't stay in the fight. And that's where Israel taught the Pentagon perhaps the most important lesson of all. Most people think fighter jets win wars, but maintenance crews do. When Israeli F-35s launched that strike on Iran, they were maintaining a 90% readiness rate. American F-35s? Barely half that. Same jets, completely different results. The reason why has the Pentagon scrambling to overhaul their entire logistics system. Because Israel found the fatal flaw in how America supports its most advanced fighters. Here's a number that should alarm every American taxpayer. The U.S. Air Force's F-35 fleet achieved only a 51.5% mission-capable rate in fiscal year 2024. That means on any given day, roughly half of America's most advanced fighters cannot perform their assigned missions. The situation has gotten so bad that Air Force leadership declared a war on readiness to address the crisis. Meanwhile, Israel maintains 35 of their 39 F-35s in mission-ready status, 90% readiness, during active combat operations, with jets flying five times their normal operational tempo. How? Israel made a decision early in their F-35 program that seemed radical at the time. They demanded complete independence in maintenance and upgrades. Every other F-35 partner nation sends their aircraft back to Lockheed Martin facilities for major overhauls, not Israel. They built their own depot-level maintenance facility at Nevatim Air Base, trained their own technicians, developed their own testing protocols. The U.S. logistics model relies on something called just-in-time supply chains. Parts arrive exactly when needed, no excess inventory, very efficient for peacetime operations, completely inadequate for war. As of March 2023, over 10,000 F-35 parts sat in warehouses waiting for repairs due to depot capacity issues. Aircraft grounded, pilots waiting, readiness plummeting. Israel's independent model lets them bypass these bottlenecks entirely. When a part fails, Israeli technicians repair or replace it immediately. No waiting for approval from the Joint Program Office, no shipping delays, no bureaucratic slowdowns. Lieutenant General Michael Schmidt, head of the F-35 Joint Program Office, told Congress the Israeli Air Force's sustainment performance is absolutely outstanding. He specifically noted the Pentagon can learn from the quickness with which they're turning airplanes, meaning how fast Israel gets jets back in the air after missions. This matters enormously for Pacific operations. Imagine a conflict scenario where American F-35s operate from bases in Okinawa or Guam. Supply lines stretch across thousands of miles of ocean. Traditional logistics systems break down. Israel has demonstrated an alternative approach actually works under combat conditions. But independence in maintenance is only part of the story. Israel did something with their F-35s that no other nation has permission to do. They cracked open the software, modified the code, integrated their own systems. Lockheed Martin guards F-35 software more carefully than nuclear secrets, yet they let Israel rewrite it. The reason why reveals how deeply America trusts Israeli innovation and what resulted changed the aircraft entirely. Every F-35 generates massive amounts of data during flight. Radar contacts, electronic signatures, threat assessments, all processed through sophisticated software that turns raw information into battlefield awareness. Standard F-35 software is excellent. Israeli modified software is better. Israel developed what they call field mission data files. After every combat sortie, Israeli F-35s download operational data. Engineers analyze what worked, what didn't, threats encountered, countermeasures deployed. Then they update the software based on real combat experience. The system literally learns from each mission and gets smarter. American F-35s don't have this capability. Software updates go through the Joint Program Office. Approved changes take months to implement across the fleet. 
Israel updates their software continuously. Real-time battlefield learning translated into immediate improvements. The integration goes further. Israeli F-35s network seamlessly with older F-15 and F-16 fighters, with ground-based air defense systems like Iron Dome and David Sling, with intelligence networks and command centers. They created a fully integrated air defense architecture with the F-35 as the central sensor node. This network-centric warfare approach represents the future of air combat, one that America is now rushing to replicate because Israel proved the concept works under fire. F-35s detect threats and relay information to conventional fighters operating nearby. Those fighters engage with heavier payloads while staying protected by fifth-generation situational awareness. Pentagon officials specifically cite this multi-platform integration as critical lessons for Pacific strategy, where American F-35s would need to coordinate with Navy ships, older Air Force fighters, allied forces, and ground-based systems across vast distances. But perhaps the most valuable lesson Israel provided doesn't show up in any technical manual. It's about operational tempo, about sustained high-intensity combat, about keeping jets flying when the pressure is maximum and failure isn't an option. Israel has flown more combat sorties with F-35s than every other nation combined, and the data from those missions is rewriting American training doctrine right now. Israel became the first nation to use F-35s in combat back in 2018 with strikes in Syria. They recorded the first ever F-35 air-to-air -air kill when they shot down Iranian drones in 2021. They conducted the first operational use of external weapons configuration in combat. Every first provides data no simulation can replicate. Over 15,000 operational flight hours in combat conditions, missions flown against Syrian air defenses, Hezbollah positions in Lebanon, Hamas in Gaza, Iranian proxies across the region, and most significantly, deep strikes into Iran itself. This represents the most comprehensive combat testing of fifth-generation stealth fighters in history. The tactical innovations developed through this experience are flowing directly to American squadrons. How to coordinate stealth penetration with conventional strike packages, optimal weapons loadouts for different target sets, electronic warfare tactics against specific threat systems, close air support procedures bringing 2,000-pound precision bombs within 200 meters of friendly forces. These aren't theoretical exercises. They're proven techniques validated under fire. The U.S. Air Force is incorporating Israeli combat tactics into training curricula at Nellis Air Force Base and other advanced training centers. American pilots learn from missions Israeli pilots actually flew. Dr. William LaPlante, Undersecretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment, testified before Congress that Israel's F-35 operations provide valuable insights into sustaining operations during high-intensity conflicts, particularly in the Pacific theater, where the U.S. military anticipates operating F-35s across vast distances with limited logistical support. Translation? Everything Israel learned fighting in the Middle East directly applies to how America would fight in the Pacific. The partnership between American and Israeli F-35 programs represents something unprecedented in military aviation, a complete feedback loop where combat experience immediately informs design improvements, training updates, and operational planning. Israel operates as a real-world testing ground for American technology. The lessons learned save U.S. taxpayers billions in research costs while providing combat-validated solutions to challenges American forces will face. From extended range modifications to independent maintenance systems, from electronic warfare breakthroughs to software that learns from combat, from multi-platform integration to sustained high-tempo operations, every lesson Israel provides makes American F-35s more capable, more ready, more lethal. As tensions rise in the Pacific and challenges multiply globally, these lessons have never been more valuable. The United States didn't just sell fighter jets to an ally, they gained a strategic partner whose combat experience is making American air power stronger every single day. 
If you found this information valuable, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth coverage of military technology and strategy. The relationship between American and Israeli Air Forces continues to evolve and we'll keep bringing you the most important developments as they happen.